Hi everyone, my name is Zara, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a trinket dish using air dry clay. So let's get into it. So to start with, you're going to need to grab your air dry clay. So I'm using this Stas Stone version. So it doesn't really matter about the color because you can always paint it like I did. I kind of chose the stone one because I'd not used this one before. I've used terracotta before and I just wanted to see what it looked like basically. So I grabbed around half and you can pick this clay up quite cheaply in the UK. It's four pounds for a kilogram roughly, depending on where you buy it from. And then you want to go ahead and roll this out. And then next you want to grab your template. So I drew this bear on Ibis Paint X using my Samsung tablet. You can find a link in the description below if you want to print this out. So it will just print out onto an A4 sheet of paper and you will have the same bear as me. So obviously it's not perfect drawing, it's literally just a template. And I needed more clay to fit the bear on so I added more on and again rolled it out. So I left this quite thick, probably around a centimetre to a centimetre and a half or I think that translates to about a quarter inch. And then I went ahead and put my bear template on and cut around it with my craft knife. So you don't really need any fancy tools for this. If you don't have like a craft knife or an exacto knife, you could always just use a knife from your kitchen. So yeah, I cut around the bear and then I ran my knife just around the edge again to make sure it was nice and neat and that I went all the way through. So I think right now it kind of looks like a silhouette of a bear wearing like a ghost costume, you know, like in a cartoon where they put a sheet over their head, it kind of looks like that. So anyway, I pulled away the excess clay and then I was left with basically my base piece for my trinket dish. So it's me, I'm just going to interrupt this live broadcast and I wanted to ask your opinion. If I was to do a project like this on a live stream, would you join in? Maybe not this exact project, but something similar and say a week before I could put out the material you need. For example, this project, you would only need some air dry clay, possibly paint if you wanted and a glaze. So yeah, would you be interested? Let me know in the comments and yeah, let's continue with this project. And to prevent this from drying out, I just put some water in a little dish and then dipped my fingertips in and rubbed over the clay. Then I moved on to doing the mouth. So I didn't want this to kind of protrude too much for out of the dish. So I just used my fingertips to flatten the clay out. And then I went ahead and cut around the circle for like the mouth. You can just use your rolling pin as well or a bottle to roll out the clay if you don't want to use your fingertips. And then I just pressed down the edges of like that circle mouthpiece just to make it a bit neater and get rid of that edge. Then I grabbed my template where I just cut the circle out of so I know where to like place it. And I scored the clay to make sure that it basically like adheres or like sticks together. If it's too smooth surfaces, it will just kind of slide around. Then I just pressed this down. So that's like the mouthpiece done. For the edge of the trinket dish, I cut these strips, which were three centimeters in width. The length didn't really matter too much. I ended up cutting around, yeah, I used three of these strips. So two of them were quite long, I believe, and then one of them was like a bit shorter. And I just made sure that they were, you know, a nice kind of neatish edge, <laughs> like straight edge left and right and top and bottom. So just using my ruler and a craft knife. So to add the edges on, you want to score. So I scored the edge of the bear and also the bottom part of the edge where this is going to basically attach onto like the bottom of the trinket dish. So I pressed this up against the bear gently and then I grabbed my clay tool which has a silicone tip and basically pushed it in between. So I used one hand to push the edge against the bottom and then I used my clay tool to basically push down in the middle of the bottom of the trinket dish and also the edge I'm adding on. And this should basically make the clay stick together and kind of adhere. You can see like there's an indent where I've pushed it together and this will help the clay stick together. And hopefully once your dish dries out, your edge will be on it perfectly. 
So once you've put your first piece on, you want to add your second piece and do the same again. So just gently pushing it against the edge and then using, you can use a um, fingertip or another tool if you don't have one like this and just push it together. So I've got really long nails on while I was making this, not probably not the best, but I couldn't really use my fingertip or two arm. And then to push the two pieces together, like the two edges, just use your fingertips or a clay tool to like mold them together and like rough them up and then squash it back in to position or like into shape basically and then you can add your last piece on so yeah I used three pieces for this and my last piece was just a bit too long so I used my craft knife to cut this down and once again I did the same thing using my clay tool in between at both edges to kind of like squash them together and then using my fingertips and the clay tool to mash the edges together kind of unshaping it and then reshaping it you can always use extra water here if it helps as well as i believe i did for this part too just to make sure that the clay is like mashed together and then it won't kind of come apart once it's dried so you can kind of see like I'm working it together using a bit of water which is off to the side and then just like squashing it together and then reshaping it so it matches the rest of the edge of the trinket dish. So then once I was happy with my edge I used some more water and just my fingertips to kind of smooth out any lumps and bumps and just like kind of neaten it up basically. You could always use a sponge as well if you have one to hand. So after I had finished with the edge piece, I moved on to doing the legs. So once again, using that template I'd cut out and I cut the leg shape out of that, placing it onto some clay. So this isn't too thick, it's a similar thickness to the mouth. And I cut around the leg. So as you can see, I've already got a leg on there. So this is basically the same process I did for that. And I pinched the edges together to kind of like smooth them down so they weren't too like thick. And then I scored the back and I'd already scored the trinket dish where I was placing the leg and pressed this down onto there. So I wasn't happy with like how tall the legs were basically. So I decided to grab my craft knife and basically like cut some of the tops off. And then I just used my fingers to smooth it all down. And then I grabbed my clay tool to kind of add a bit of an edge around the legs and then basically my trinket dish was done and I left this to dry for around 48 hours on the windowsill and here's how it turned out so I think it looks really nice in this stone color so if you're happy with that color you could kind of just leave it and maybe glaze it but i decided to paint it so i'm using these arteza outdoor acrylics and i painted the body in this like lilac -y color so i didn't even realize but i basically made the same color as my nails are now in this part of the video i didn't realize until after i'd painted it but yeah and i did the mouthpiece as well and then i used this fine line pen to add in like the black of the eyes and then a purple one to add on like the nose and the mouth so I actually like rubbed this off when I went to glaze it but you will see that shortly so then I ended up changing the color to pink and I didn't even realize that I'd picked up the pink but it worked and then I used my sponge brush just to add in some extra color and detail I thought it did look really cute in the purpley color but kind of a bit plain and I wanted to make it look I don't know a bit more me I guess just to add a bit more like I don't know color style whatever you want to call it so I used like a mixture of this blue and then turquoise pink and the original purple that I mixed up to get the lilac color on the base I feel like it looks like a bear who got into the paints and kind of I don't know had a messy time either painting or just falling into a paint cupboard and now he's covered in all this paint. What do you think? Do you like this style or would you have left it plain? Let me know in the comment. So lastly I used this acrylic glazing medium and I just poured this over and used a brush to spread it around so this is just going to help give it some extra shine and also protect it. You can always use like Mod Podge. I know that they've got 
various mod podges out there. I don't think it's as popular in the UK, but I know it is in the US. So yeah, you can use that or you could even use resin and make it, you know, really, really shine. And as you can see, I brushed off the mouth that I drew earlier. So I dabbed it a bit with a tissue and then redrew it. So I waited for that to dry and reglazed over it. And then here is how the final dish turned out. So here is how my trinket dish turned out. Let me know in the comments if you like this and let me know if you're actually going to make one of these yourself. Would you make this for a friend? Tag a friend in the comments below who you would make this for, that would be really cool. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more. See you next time. Bye!